I think it's funny how consistent it seems to be. How the video cassettes, you know, the ones that people have recorded, the ones where people have spent a bunch of time and they've they've bought some bought bought well there's Alex Botten. Um <laughs> they've bought these these label makers to be able to make the you know the the label on the on the edge of the video cassette uh, look, they they want it to look more professional. They don't want it to look like a human wrote it. They want it to look like it was, you know, printed on there. And the, every tape that I've run across so far where people have done something like that or they'll write a whole bunch of information on the label and try to make it, you know, make it very legible, but they've written a whole bunch of information about it. Okay, either one of those, yeah, the recording is crap. On crappy equipment, usually something that's, I mean, it could be recorded, it could have been recorded in 1998, and it's still a, uh, it's using an analog uh, type of, of VCR. Like, okay, the Hi-Fi VHS standard, uh, was started by JVC in, in, in 1984, or it was, that's when it got put out anyway. They might have had the standard before then as far as working on it, but it, 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 you know, it was introduced in 1984. And within 10 years, that pretty much became the standard when you go to get a VCR. You know, it was rare to see a VCR that didn't have the hi-fi stereo. So... Anyway, so, so 98, 1998, sometimes even as far as 2001, these things will be recorded. And it's always on the slowest speed and on a, on a mono, uh, uh, you know, analog VCR uh, that they don't get serviced very much. And, you know, I mean, slowest speed. It, it, does, it doesn't matter how how much detail needs to be on the screen for a recording? No, slowest speed. Always the slowest speed. I, I mean, I understand something like that for a cartoon. You know, recording at a slowest speed. A cartoon is particularly, like, if it was when it was being broadcast in the 80s. Man, the, the, the quality of the prints that they would show of cartoons in the 80s sometimes were just wretched. Does anyone remember what uh, Yellow Submarine was like before they, you know, when they showed it on TV, uh, before they did a remaster of it? Anyone remember how bad that looked? Uh, another one, uh, now here's one that, that's, uh, you still can't get a good recording of it unless you get it from, uh, I can't remember what country in Europe it is, um, and I know that's a very general thing, but I, I it's, the main thing I remember about it is it's PAL. It's it's in uh, at 50 hertz, so um, on DVD. But the last unicorn, the last unicorn. There are no. There's only one good print of it that they actually remastered, and all the rest of them, like what is it? ITC Entertainment or whatever it is. I think that's the name of the company that's put out the the current one. And they'll say remastered, but all they did was take. The old print of a camera looking at a at a, 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 a projector screen, and it, the the screen is such that if there's if everything's black but you have white text or something, surrounding the white text will be this kind of haze. And, uh, you know, that's what the recording looks like. And so they just tried to clean up one of those. This is the same one that was floating around, and they called that remastered. Instead of actually getting a hold of the, the, uh, the real, you know, a real copy of the film and, and remastering it based off of that. So, um, but, uh, yeah, in, in the 80s, so many cartoons were just, the way they remastered them was, was, no, I can't talk, and I've just fucked up the video. But I'm on the smartphone, and I can't, I can't edit that out, right? 
<laughs> All right. Um, and usually I would just, well, let's end the video and, and start again. And I don't feel like starting again on this one. So, um, no, but in the 80s, they, they showed uh, prints of cartoons that were just fucking terrible. And so it didn't matter that much if you recorded it on slow. It just didn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Um, so, you know, things that already looked like shit, I, I understand recording on slow, but I mean... It's, oh, let's pack as much in as we can and look at my special label and, uh, yeah, it's going to be a crap recording. <laughs> so, I don't know. And then the ones that have the worst labels, they'll, they'll have taken a, a piece of, of masking tape and just wrote on it. Yeah, those have been the best recordings. Overall, those have been the best recordings. Um... I haven't ran across any that were kind of like what I would make. I, I would, I would do, I, I would take pen sets and make it like all artistic and stuff. I would also sometimes, I would take a, a silver pen, one of these, the, it's, it's, you write with, with silver paint, a Pilot brand. It has a, um, it has a little plastic tip on it so you can make it very skinny. And I would, uh, write that right on the black plastic and it would look really nice, and I'd write, make it all fancy and, and artistic looking using a, you know, let's, let's make a new font, you know, let's make a fancy font, and, I, and that's how I'd write uh, the stuff on mine, um, but yeah, in the 80s, I, I was obsessive on, uh, you know, it, do we want to watch this later? Well, then let's make a good recording of it, let's not, let's not, uh, make a recording that we'll never want to watch later, because, ugh, look at that, and I think that's what happens with with a lot of people. They will just be like, um, people will record stuff and then they end up not really watching it again later. I mean, they might might watch it if they watch it at all. They'll watch it once. It's funny too. It is the things that I would cut out of all of my recordings when I would record something on TV. I would always cut out the commercials. And, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be having any fun with, uh, uh, with this if, if everyone had done that sort of thing. I, I'm, I'm, I find it interesting that the entire time I've been looking through these tapes, I've not seen one where people cut out the commercials. I find that fascinating. Uh, so I'm, I'm realizing how obsessive I guess I've always been. <laughs> so... Anyway, um, uh, what's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just something on the screen that I was, what is that symbol? Oh, that's the, uh, for the light for my peanut butter sandwich, right? Okay, nobody knows that joke. There's this, a story that's gotten told over and over again is, uh, you know, when, when uh, my brother and I were quite little, and one time, uh, my mother just peeked in just to see if, you know, my brother was doing okay, it, it, you know, uh, at night, just to, and is, is he breathing, is he, you know, and she went to peek in, and he said this in his sleep, and he goes, turn off that light with a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, 